Reggie Drago V-Star is back. It slipped in popularity a little bit in the Stellar Crown format, but James Cox has piloted the deck to a first place finish at Lil Regionals. Congratulations to them. And there's a couple of tweaks in the Reggie Drago deck from Shroud of Fable to Stellar Crown that James has in their version of the deck, which we are going to go over right now. I'm Jeff from InThirdPerson.com. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's talk about Reggie Drago V-Star. Before we continue into this video, quickly wanted to let you know that I am fundraising for Extra Life. 100% of the proceeds go towards the Children's Miracle Network of Hospitals, a network of 170 hospitals taking care of thousands of kids every day. Uh, link is in the description if you want to make a donation. And if you make a donation at one of the three reward tiers, you can get some cool stuff from me, including a signed Pokemon card and prints of my spray paint art. So if you are interested in uh, supporting a wonderful cause while also getting some cool stuff from me, hit the link in the description of this video and make a donation. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen and let's get back to this video. It is a dragon Pokemon with 280 HP and it's got no weakness so this can be tough to one hit KO. It's got the attack Apex Dragon where for two grass and a fire energy you get to copy a dragon Pokemon's attack in your discard pile and we've got some good attackers in the deck now including the Dragapult EX, which is our, our main attacker here. We want to copy Phantom Dive, do 200 damage to the active, as well as put six damage counters on the bench in any way we like. We can use this to set up some crazy multi-prize turns later on, or even in the immediate term, potentially taking two, four prizes, possibly even more with this phenomenal attack. In a jam where we need to hit the active really hard, Giratina V-Star lets us do 280 and we send two energy from our Pokemon into the Lost Zone. And then we have Kyurem's Trifrost attack where we discard all energy from our Pokemon and do 110 damage to three of our opponent's Pokemon. So you could potentially set up full board wipes here or push your opponent into a position where they just scoop early because you've wiped out all of their main attackers and it's gonna be too much for them to get rolling. Just be careful when you pop this. If you pop it too soon and your opponent's able to get set back up again, you could be in big trouble because you oftentimes leave yourself with no follow-up attackers after Reggie Drago loses all of its energy. So keep that in mind. Uh, we've got a 3-3 line of Reggie Drago V and V Star. And also keep in mind Legacy Star is an amazing V Star power for Reggie Drago, where during your turn you can discard the top seven cards of your deck and then put two of those cards from your discard pile back into your hand. Uh, the, the temptation to burn Legacy Star in the early game is strong, especially if you, you're struggling to set up. But if you are set up, I would say try and hold off as long as you can, because the longer the game goes, the more cards you've got in the discard pile, the more the better cards you can grab with Legacy Star when you need it. And it can recover some amazing pieces like Prime Catcher, Energy Switches, and so on. Uh, we should mention here that the attack cost two grass and a fire is awkward to power up for sure. And that's why we've got Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX, which has really stabilized the deck where it's Teal Dance ability lets you accelerate an energy from your hand, a grass energy from your hand onto Teal Mask Ogre Pond. And then we're going to use E-Switch to move it over to Reggie Drago, allowing us to potentially get rolling as early as turn two. This is a deck that pretty much always wants to go first in order to get that turn two action, E-Switch, and so on. We've got Squawkabilly EX, where on our first turn, we can discard our hand, draw six cards, potentially, yeah, digging into our hand so we can get the cards that we need to set up, but also throwing cards in the discard pile that we could recover with Reggie Drago's V-Star power. Uh, we've got one copy of Giratina V-Star, one copy of Mew EX, helping us draw up to three cards with that restart ability. Theoretically, you could attack with this as well, but you probably don't want to burn your E-Switches to get Mew EX rolling. We have one copy of Cleffa. This is a relatively new addition to Reggie Drago, where a Grasping Draw for zero energy lets you draw up to seven cards if this is your attack. And this can really help you if you're going second, because Reggie Drago really wants to go first. Going second can be bad, but Cleffa is a, a single prize Pokemon that draws you a whole bunch of cards, making it easier for you to set up on the following turn. And if your opponent can't gust around the Cleffa, they're kind of wasting their attack on a baby Pokemon. We've got the 1-1 one, one line of Hoot Hoot Knocked Owl. This only works. The Jewel Seeker ability only works if you've got a Terra Pokemon in play, which is almost always because Teal Mask Ogre Pond is your energy acceleration backbone. But when you play it and you've got that Ogre Pond in play, 
you can accelerate or you can grab two trainer cards of your choice, put them into your hand. Now, full disclosure, I was not able to um, use this in any of the matches that I got. Like I have used it. It just didn't work out in the matches that I ended up picking. But this can really help you out in a big way, get you those energy switches, get you a supporter, an item. Uh, this can really help stabilize the deck. So uh, where possible, get the Hoot Hoot down early so that you've got that Knocked Owl play for when you need it. One copy of Pheasantipity EX, where if one of your Pokemon was knocked out on the previous turn, draw three cards. Uh, two copies of the Dragapult, we really want to be able to find the Dragapult and uh, discard it. So we've got two just in case one gets prized, one Kyurem, and then one Radiant Charizard because it can be tough to set up three. It's pretty much impossible to set up three Reggie Dragos in this deck. Most of the time you are using two Reggie Dragos and then potentially an Ogre Pond or a Radiant Charizard as your final attacker. For trainer cards, we've got three copies of Earthen Vessel. You get to discard a card and then draw two energy from your deck and put that into your hand. Two copies of Super Rod lets you recover Pokemon and basic energy from your discard pile and put them back into your deck. Two copies of Iono for Hand Disruption, where both players shuffle their hands, put it to the bottom of their deck, and then draw equal to the number of prize cards remaining. Uh, this Hand Disruption is not as good as it used to be because of the likes of Mew EX and in particular Pheasantipity EX, but it is a way of throwing your opponent potentially off their game at least a little bit while also refreshing your hand. We've got four copies of Ultra Ball, discard two cards, grab a Pokemon of your choice. In particular, this is going to be your way of getting those Dragon Pokemon in the discard pile. One copy of Jamming Tower lets you shut off all Pokemon tools in play, yours and your opponent's. We don't really run tools in this deck, so really just hurting your opponent from using their tools. Four copies of E-Switch lets you move an energy from one of your Pokemon to another, and in particular, moving the energy from Ogre Pond to Regidrago is key. Four copies of Professor's Research, where you get to discard your hand, draw seven. In particular, getting those Pokemon in the discard pile, the Dragon Pokemon, is key. We also have Prime Catcher, where you get to gust an opposing bench Pokemon into the active, and then you gust one of your bench Pokemon into the active. So an item-based gusting card is incredibly strong and a great choice of A-spec for this deck. One copy of Temple of Sinnoh, where you just nullify special energy and turn them into basics. In particular, this is a great counter for Lugia, where they have stuff like Legacy Energy and Double Turbo, and you can just shut all of that off, which is great. One copy of Canceling Cologne, where until the end of your turn, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. This can help you out in awkward head-to-head -head scenarios like going up against a Mimikyu or a Cornerstone Mask Ogre Pond, where they're trying to wall you off. Two copies of Boss's Orders to gust an opposing bench Pokemon into the active. One copy of Switch, just to switch your active Pokemon onto the bench with something else. And four copies of Nest Ball to get our basic Pokemon down. And then 10 energy, we've got seven copies of Grass and three copies of Fire. So no Briar in this deck. Some people have been running Briar as a way of countering Charizard where Ogre Pond can take a three prize KO potentially. Um, but we do have some cool pieces in here. In particular, the 1-1 one, one Knocked Owl line is great for getting some extra trainer cards to help set up or maintain your momentum. And then Cleffa for that turn to draw can be really nice. So general game plan, it, there's a lot to set up with Regidrago. You want to get down at least one Regidrago V, get down one to two Ogre Ponds, and ideally on turn two, get to Regidrago V-Star, do a energy switch or two, and then get some dragon Pokemon in the discard pile so that you can start bombing with Phantom Dive or uh, Lost Impact or even Kyurem's Trifrost attack. This can be a very fast deck, still a very strong deck, and we do have the uh, a couple better ways of drawing cards now with the Knocked Owl and the Cleffa. All right, let's get to these matches. Let's go Regidrago in the active. And our opponent's playing Dragapult. All right. This is not ideal. Not ideal, but hopefully we can get our, our Dragapult play off. And we'll make some stuff happen from here, hopefully. Hopefully. They are a deck that is a little slower, but like it's been kind of crazy where Pidgeot has kind of fallen out of the Dragapult list, and yet somehow 
Dragapult is better now than before. So, I don't know. We'll go and put the Ogre Pond down. Okay. And what helps us out here? Oh, yeah, we can go grab a second Ogre Pond. Let's see what we have here. Uh, Cleffa? No, Cleffa is not... Cleffa going second feels bad. I think we go get a second Ogre Pond down, though. And let's just do a quick check on what we have. Two Dragapults, the Knocked Owl, E-Switch. Um, I think we prized the Gir Giratina. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's just the two Dragapults here. So... Um, I think we got to play the squawk, right? Our our hand right now is not too good. And hopefully we can get that, that Zard back later. Okay, we get three energy on the board. Yeah, we can super rod four. <coughs> Oof. Sorry about the coughing. Um, throw that jamming tower down. <coughs> Is it worth playing Rod right now? Um, maybe to get the Rads on. <laughs> okay, sorry about the, all this. Uh, let's go and... I, I think we can Super Rod later. Let's just go Iono right now. Okay, we'll get down the second Reggie Drago, and we can E switch here. And let's go Celestial Roar. And we don't get anything. We just discard the Reggie Drago V Star. That's uh, awful. And we can afford to get rid of one, but the. And the Ogre Pond's kind of okay to get rid of two, but. Let's see what we can do from here. If we can knock out this Dusk Gull, that would be fantastic. Really sorry about the coughing. I might just... Oh, okay. Do they get the Sparkling Crystal out? Because right now they've only got... They must, right? They've got to have the out to the Crystal. They're not going to Jet Headbutt for... Oh, okay. Maybe they are. Let's see. They're going to need to make some ha magic happen here. We get our Reggie Drago. That's fantastic. Oh, they got it. Oh, they put it on the second one. Interesting. So they're just, they're willing to jet headbutt here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Reggie Drago, 270. Yeah, they're going to be short on the... Okay. Do we... Do I burn the V-Star power right now? I might. Let's go and do that. Legacy Star. And we go grab... Oh, a bunch of E-Switches hit the discard. That's kind of not great. We lose the Knocked Owl line, which could be nice. Um, I think we grab the Reggie Drago V Star, and let's grab an E Switch as well here. Or do we grab two E Switches and just say, no, we'll grab a Reggie Drago and an E Switch. And we can go move this energy off the Ogre Pond to Reggie Drago. And we could potentially. Hmm. What is the... Yeah, I don't want to bench anything else right now. Let's just go Apex Dragon. And we will Phantom Dive for 200. And we'll take out the Dusk Skull. So that we don't get a blow-up play later. Okay, Kyurum. Kyurum could have come in handy earlier in the game, but right now, no. Um, it could. Like, if we blow up this one and this one, that's three prizes right there.
Let's see. If they don't have any draw, we could be okay. Okay, they just counter catcher, stall for time, probably hit like an ogre pawn. Nope, they're gonna hit the other Reggie Drago. Soften that up, that makes sense. Ooh, the sparking, what's it called? Jamming tower out shuts off the sparkling crystal. So that's um, kind of bad for them. Hopefully we can just drop a bunch of damage counters on this track loc on the following turn. Ooh, they get their phantom dive. They get their phantom dive and potentially have, they, they need to bump the stadium though before the next turn. They're still short of a... Um, they're still going to be a, like a couple HP short of a... Four. Ah, okay. They, if they can gust up the... One of the potential targets here, they do still have four prize play on deck. And that is horrifying. Okay. So hopefully, off this next draw... Let's go and switch. And I hope that they don't blow this up. And do we, I don't think we can afford to put a third, a third Reggie Drago here. Let's go and Apex Dragon and we will Phantom Dive again. And this, yeah, we'll drop all six onto this Dragapult. And hopefully they don't find an energy and an out to bump that stadium and we should be okay. But right now they're they are they are in top deck mode. Okay, they get their Pidgey down. And they get their energy and they need a stadium bump. Right. Ah. They're still not knocking. Oh, they knock out the Reggie Drago in the active. So that's actually kind of terrible. And we have to find a fire energy now. And I'm not sure if we're going to be able to find one of those in, in time. Our hand is kind of clogged up right now. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Ugh. We get the Fez. And yeah, we have to flip the script here. Okay, if we can, I think we have to 280. Yeah, if we go and do we hit just like get rid of all of this? I think we do. I think we have to yeet our entire hand and, and figure it out from here. Okay, do we get a earthen vessel? Let's get rid of this Clefo. We don't need that anymore. Please tell me there's still fire energy in the deck. Thank you. And we can actually set up a... Okay, yep, this is how we do this. Canceling Cologne. Teal Dance. And we can Super Rod some stuff back in here. We can get the Radzard back, right? We get the Radzard back. And maybe we get some, some energy. Mm, yeah, let's go do that. And if we... We don't need to E-switch right now. Ah, you know what? Is it worth... No, it's not worth getting... Yeah, let's go and... Attach. And we have Giratina's attack on deck. So let's go and Apex Dragon... And we will go Lost Impact for 280. And we'll throw two in the Lost Zone. We'll throw this one off the Ogre Pond. And this one off the Ogre Pond. We knock them out. They have no attacker on board. Uh, if they have... If they they could pull out a potentially a Radzard. At which point it would be awkward. But, right, Pidgey into nothing... Yeah, they need a lot of pieces to make that work. Arvin, okay. 
Do they have it? And do we have any more grass energy left? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's one more. Uh oh. Oh, they don't have it. G, G. So, um, kind of a weird matchup there. Dragapult is kind of horrifying for Reggie Drago, but we were able to weather the storm. Them dropping damage counters everywhere and um, being able to take out the Duskull early helped with the math a little bit. And then Giratina's big attack, being able to copy that and knock out that other Dragapult was awesome and then they just kind of didn't have any other attackers to set up and we were potentially i mean we we could have drawn through most of our deck at that point at the end if they had taken out the dragapult and we should have most likely would have been able to get radzard on the board so i think we were in we we handled that one pretty well ggs first off thank you so much for watching this far into the video and before we get to the next match quickly wanted to let you know that i am hosting an extra life 24-hour marathon on saturday november 2nd at 9 a.m eastern time it's going to be an absolute blast we are playing in support of the children's miracle network of hospitals you can make a donation get some cool stuff from me as well as support a wonderful cause and my friends family and i are going to be in the house we're going to be playing games all day all night pokemon tcg and a whole bunch of other stuff uh, you don't want to miss it and the, all of the action is going to take place on my twitch channel twitch.tv slash in third person again 24-hour marathon saturday november 2nd 9 a.m eastern time hope to see you there now let's get back to it we get a mew in the active it might be worth getting the cleffa down just to draw more cards um, or we Ogre Pawn, and then we set up a Reggie Drago, get some fire energy on, and then we research. Yeah, the whole thing. Okay. Another Ogre Pawn deck. What are we up against? I'm guessing if they're going first, that it's the Reggie Drago mirror match. Let's see. And also, let's see how our opponent sets up. Like, if they've, if this is it, then maybe we... Nope, nope, this isn't just it. We should find out here real quick what we are up against. Okay, we are in the Reggie Drago mirror match, and that is... That's kind of horrifying. All right, so how do we play this? They play pretty much a perfect opening number right there. I think the Cleffa is important here to one, draw a bunch of cards, but two, also just not lose a two prizer on this first turn. So if we can get, okay, yep, yeah, Ogre Pond there, fantastic. Attach. Yep, Dragapult there. That's fantastic. Um, I think we go... Let's go get a second Ogre Pond down. Teal Dance. Okay. Um, let's go get rid of Dragapult and Switch. We'll go get a... A Reggie Drago here. Now, what does suck is that we... Oh, we can still draw up one. We can still draw up one. And hopefully... Okay, I'm just going to grab one energy here. Just the fire, because we're going to yeet our hand anyway. Let's go research. And we get rid of... We'll go get a second Reggie Drago down. Let's go get rid of Giratina and Dragapult. And let's go grab Cleffa here. And refresh our hand. 
and we can throw down the jamming tower which may or may not be a factor in this matchup and we'll grasping draw all right decent start decent start we've got our attackers in we just need some e switches of which we have none at the moment we have reggie Drago v star here as well so that's good We have double Drago as well, which our opponent does not have. Okay, they're going to get their Reggie Drago V-Star out. They have the Dragapult attack. Let's see what we can do. And it might be worth... <clears throat> Uh-oh, Prime Catcher. What are we going to go go for? Maybe the Mew? Yeah, take three prizes off the rip. Uh-oh. This is, yeah, we're, now we're getting punished for the, the Cleffa here. Oh, no. Almost certain. Yeah, they are popping off right now. So taking three prizes on this turn is absolutely brutal for us. And they get the second Reggie Drago down. absolutely nuts and they get their giratina down Woo! uh we need to this is not fun this is not fun and they soften up the ogre ponds as well Oh, they, they leave the Clef on the board. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, they just give themselves a whole bunch of two prize KO options here for later, which, um, I mean, fine. Let's go and I kind of don't want to attach that fire energy right now. If we go and Iono here. Get them back down to four cards. And can we... Okay, we get another... What do we have in terms of... Poke okay. Yeah, let's go and attach to the Ogre Pawn. I need some E-switches here. Yes. Okay. And we'll go attach... Okay, to this one. And we can attack on the following turn. We can attack on the following turn. Uh, let's get rid of this Canceling Cologne. I don't think we need that anymore. And let's go grab a, a Grass and a Grass. I think we need two Grass right now. Right? So we... Yeah. And then we don't need the E-switches at that point. So we can save that for later. Let's go and attach to Reggie Drago. And we'll retreat. And we can actually... Mm, is it worth... Let's go Teal Dance here again. And we will... Uh, it's not... I don't think it's worth Legacy Starring right this second. Yeah, let's go and... Apex Dragon, and we will do the Giratina Lost Impact for 280. Take this Reggie Drago out, and we'll get rid of this two energy. Yeah, we'll get rid of two off the bench. And we've still got Legacy Star for us for later. And we get another E Switch. That's fantastic. And how many E-switches do we have left? We've got... Oh, we still got three. That's that's pretty sick. So we can make some stuff happen here still. We can still come back. Okay, they get their... Reg they have their Legacy Star potentially ahead of them. If they get two E-switches, they're fine. And they can blow this up. Let's see how they, they approach this, though. And they could even, like, boss... That would be horrifying. Okay. Well, let's see it.
Okay, it's a super rod. Get some stuff out. Jamming tower, not really. I don't think it's doing anything in this matchup, but that's fine. Let's go and see where they play. They get the Radzar down early. Interesting. Okay, and we get Ionode. Okay, Prime Catcher is good. Research is good. Now, how do we... Okay, they throw out a whole bunch of stuff. Do they have two E-switches in the discard? No, they only got one. Uh, they could still E-switch for one and then attach from hand if they haven't already. Let's see it. Bring them out. What do you got? I'm assuming I am dead right now. Okay, Super Rod. Get their fire energy back. Hmm. Ooh, Prime Catcher. Go and trap this Reggie Drago. That's annoying, but that means they don't got it like that. Okay, that is potentially great. Okay. Yeah, if we can go and blow up. Yeah, let's go and get rid of the Squawkabilly. And, oh, we only have two fire. Okay, that's not ideal. Not ideal. But uh, if we can lost impact the Reggie Drago, they get one energy left. Or they, they got, come in with the Radzard potentially. Okay, let's go and go after this. Actually, you know what? Is it time to Legacy Star? It might be time to Legacy Star. Uh, let's go and I'll attach the fire energy from hand. And let's go and... Do we Iono first? And give them four other cards and then we dig? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go Iono first. Okay. Yeah. If, if we get the Hoot Hoot down, Hoot Hoot could be good for later to get us some pieces after the fact. Let's go and Legacy Star right now. And let's see what we get. If we get rid of a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. I think I need those... What do we need here? Um, I think we need the... Yeah, what is the... There's only one grass energy that's gone right now. I think the... The rod could be good. And the... Oh, man. I'm so not sure unsure of what we need oh yeah let's get the earthen vessel if there's still more grass energy in the deck then yeah we can get rid of this reggie drago and let's go grab there isn't <laughs> okay then we yeah we apex dragon and we get rid of we apex dragon the Lost, yeah, we lost impact. And we get rid of this grass energy and this fire energy. Now, they uh, they still have Radzard. And Radzard's going to hit for a lot. It's going to hit for 250. It's not, it's not knocking out this Reggie Drago. They are one short. So, um, and they have to hit this Reggie Drago or they're, they're kind of screwed. And I guess like the, let's see what they play. Like if they play hand disruption, maybe we're in, but like 
the other potential plan is we have boss, we have Radzard, we have our free pivot in the Cleffa. Um, we've got multiple ways around this. Unfortunately, maybe we won't get the the knocked owl out, which would be nice. But um, yeah, oh, the, actually, we can't. Yeah, we could super rod for the knocked owl back if we really wanted to. I don't think we have to at this point. Unless we get Iono to Oblivion here, which I don't know if they're going to do. Wouldn't be a bad idea, though. No, if anything, they, they yeah, they're just going to swing. So they are just banking on this. All right. Then we will. Let's Teal Dance. We'll just build up some energy here. Uh, we are kind of farting around a little bit. Yeah, let's go and finish this off. And we will... We have to Apex Dragon again. Like, we have to Giratina V-Star because... Oh, no, we don't. We can just Phantom Dive, right? We knock out the Squawkabilly. And then we are fine. So we will go Phantom Dive and we'll drop, like, one, two, three, four, and then two on the, the Zard. And we take the win there. G... Jeez. All right. So, um, yeah, Reggie Drago still really strong. Uh, glad that we got the Cleffa in there to at least do some stuff. Um, unfortunately, weren't able to to get the the Knocked Owl out. It would have been nice here and there, but we were able to uh, dance our way around the mirror match with lots of lost impacts there, just getting rid of the Reggie Drago right away so that we didn't have to deal with it. Um, and then, yeah, nice phantom dive at the end. I guess it, it kind of didn't matter what attack we used at that point, but we were able to put our opponent in a pretty much checkmate position. I mean, they could have hand disrupted us and that would have been bad, but otherwise we were able to get through. GG's. Consider here. Hopefully we top deck like a... Oh. Okay, with the Reggie Lecky stuff. Um, not sure I like that. I'm actually going to go and throw the Earthen Vessel... Or throw the energy switch in there. So that we have... Okay. We're going to pray that we don't get blown up now. One sec. And maybe we'll throw a grass energy in here as well. Have not seen the Reggie Lecky... Uh, a Reggie Lecky build. But that's kind of horrifying because they could one-shot Reggie Drago with this Raikou. If they get set up, if they don't though, uh, we could be, we could be laughing here. Of course, we also have to get a dragon Pokemon in the discard pile too, so that could be awkward. Okay, they got a whole lot of nothing right now. Let's go. We get the Reggie Drago V Star. This is kind of what I was hoping for. This potential Wombo combo, and I'm actually going to Earth and Vessel for like nothing. I think, yeah, I'm going to Earthen Vessel for nothing. I'm just going to throw the energy. I just want that energy in the discard. Let's go and hopefully we can get an out to, we need a bunch of stuff, actually. We get the Ogre Pond. That's good. Ogre Pond gets us some energy. Now we can get the E-Switch back that we threw in the discard pile earlier. That's good. Um... What if we, I think we have to, let's go Legacy Star right now. And we can get the E-Switch plus, oh no. Uh, we don't have an attack right now other than Kyurem, which I really don't want to use. So we're, we're kind of stuck, aren't we? Ugh. E-Switch and... I guess we Iono here, but like, this is not, this is not it. Hmm. Okay, let's go and get a second Reginald down. And we can go E-Switch. And let's go throw the Jamming Tower up. And unfortunately, we have no attack. I don't want to use the Kyurem here because I we, we burn all the energy for like no good reason. 
Oof. Bad run. Bad run there. Hopefully we we get a better setup on this next go round. But didn't like that start. And yeah, we could I guess we could have, but like 110 to these two doesn't feel like it's worth it, especially when we have to build up another Reggie. I guess you could take out four prizes if you do it twice. But then what do we do for the last? The last prize. Anyway, let's go see what they got. Okay, Pokemon Catcher. Nope. Looks like they've got a a garbage hand as well. Hopefully we can yeah, just get some dragon Pokemon in the discard pile. Just a, a locked in Reggie Drago with not much to do. Does feel bad. Hmm. All right, well, we'll just chill out. Okay, they get Arvin, probably a generator. Let's see it. Also, let me get a, a throat lozenge here. Still, still under the weather here a bit. Okay, four seal stone. Okay, they get the Maridon, set up more of their bench. And what will we... I don't think... Um, let's see if Four Seal... I think Four Seal Stone doesn't work under Jamming Tower. That'd be kind of cool if true. Let's see. They are going to get an initial attack off. And it's going to be boosted by 30. I hate that. Hate that for me. And they get the bravery. Okay, that's sure. That's fine. Lightning Rondo still hitting for a solid 170. We need something to deal with that. And right now we, we kind of don't have it. So let's go see what we can do. Hopefully off this Iono we can discard some pieces here. Um, yep, yeah, we can get... Is it worth... Um, getting rid of, I think we have to get rid of Giratina, but then like, I don't want a lost impact here. Okay. We'll get rid of Giratina and the Reggie Drago and let's go grab. Yeah. Dragapult would be nice at some point here and we could potentially get rid of that later. And yeah, we have to blast this Raiko. But how are we going to... How are we going to recover here? Because we don't have... I kind of don't want to... We'll get rid of these two energies. I uh, know, we'll put the two grass in the Lost Zone. And hopefully we can get some other pieces here. Earthen Vessel, throw the Dragapult in. Uh, we need some E-Switches, though. Hmm. We'll need at least one E-Switch. And we can start popping off with the, the Dragapult attack, which can be incredibly deadly, taking out the Raikou and then softening up something else. What's the play? Is this a... No, this is not... Like, the Reggie Drago... Or, like, is this... Someone using, like, Sneaker Talk TCGs list? I know they still play the Maridon with the Reggie Lecky. Oh, are they going to hit, like, four and then take three prizes here? That would be crazy. Okay, Arvin, probably Generator. I would expect the Raikou to come in and absolutely smash us here. Oh, okay. 
If they can iron hands for three, that would be crazy. Let's see. Oh, oh my goodness. They're going for it. They are going for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. They get the fourth energy? They do. They're going to take three prizes on this Reggie Drago. And all of a sudden, it's looking really awkward. This is looking very awkward. Hmm. How do we go about this? I think we... Let's see if we can prime catcher the Raiko. That's probably the play. If we can hit. Now we need to... Earthen Vessel. We'll grab the two grass energy. And I need a Fez and Dippity here too. Let's go and grab the Fez. And we'll draw three. Hopefully we get an E-switch here. No. Okay, not too late. Not too late. Let's go, Teal Dance. Okay. Uh, Mew is not ideal, but could be used that <coughs> could use that for later. Let's go Teal Dance again. And we still have the Yeah, we'll go Pokemon Catcher up the the Raikou here. And let's go pray that we can get... Oh, we should have used one E-Switch and then attached to the other. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe I did that. Okay. Well, yeah, I should have. I could have played that way better. That was silly because now we may not get... Okay. Let's go and... Get rid of. Um, how do I do this? I think, yeah, we get get rid of the Kyurum. Oh, the Kyurum attack is gonna take out the two Zera auras, so that's kind of cool. And we'll go get the. Mm. If we, if I just get something that I want to throw out, because I want to draw three cards, right? I want to go and get the Squawk Billy. And let's go and grab maybe the the Radzard next. And then we draw three and hopefully we can get another E-Switch. Uh, I screwed that up though. I screwed that up real bad. E-Switch. No. Oh, okay. We still got the attach. Whew. And now Apex Dragon and we soften up. Let's go and lost. No, no, I didn't want to lost impact. That's not what I wanted to do. I clicked on the wrong thing. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. How? We might still be okay, but like, oh, okay. We're probably fine, but I cannot believe... I meant to drag a pult and then soften something up. But we're still, we're still in here. We're still in here. I have played this so bad. Our opponent is not really in a position. Like, maybe they can tank a hit with Regilecki. We have the third energy, though. Thank goodness. Yeah, no thanks to me. Like, ugh. We didn't need to... We did absolute overkill to that Raikou. The first time using the Giratina attack, fine. The second time, inexcusable. And let's see. They've got the Iron Hands, and, like... I guess they could arm press and take out the Radzard. But I don't think that helps them enough. Oh, okay, they are doing an extra 30 damage. So they are doing like 150. No, they're still not going to be able to take out anything. With the iron hands here. And if they're playing Arvin, they probably don't have unfair stamp. We're going to hold this hand. I don't think they knock us out. We... We use the Giratina attack and we knock out. <coughs> we knock out the third Pokemon. Oh. Okay, maybe not. Hero's Cape is pretty annoying, but what would they Hero's Cape at this point? Are they just going to come in with the like the Regilecki VMAX here? 
Oh, then we can just Kyurum and blow up the two Zera Auras and it's over. Yeah, so we've got multiple ways around this. Let's go and make up for our, our past mistakes here. Yeah, so we have we have routes to victory here. Unless they they put a hero's cape on a Zera Aura, which I almost certain they're not gonna do. They're gonna try and tank a hit here. Yeah, they'll swing for 220. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Go ahead, cape that one. Yep, Kyurum's in here, so we'll just blow up. We'll do 110 to two of these. Yeah, I can't. I, I screwed. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're okay, though. We're okay. We're okay. We'll Teal Dance. Draw another card. Maybe we get a boss's orders or something, and we can make something else happen here. No. No, we do not. That's fine. We still have game in hand. We will just go Apex Dragon. And we will... Where is that? It is not Phantom Dive. It is Trifrost. And we will go and drop 110, 110. And for funsies, we'll drop 110 on the Iron Hands for game. There we go. So, yeah, again, uh, not necessarily the, the cleanest way to play it. I'm glad we eventually got the Kyurum in there. Um, I think we used it at the right time, being able to take those two targets out at the end, giving us a sneaky way of sniping the bench and taking out some smaller targets. The the first attack with the Giratina, it kind of it kind of is what it is. We just didn't have another attack to go with there, and I would I guess that's getting rid of two and taking a KO is better than getting rid of three and not getting any KOs. But I, I screwed up on that second attack. I mean, we still got the KO and we got the energy in the end. That's fine. But we would have preferred to use Phantom Dive to take out the Raikou in the active. Plus also set up some damage on something else like the Iron Hands on that following turn. So we didn't have to worry as much. But regardless, we figured out a way around and we're okay. GG's. There we go. That is a look at Reggie Drago V Star in the Stellar Crown format. Again, congratulations to James on the big regionals win. And I'm still a little salty that I never got the Knocked Owl play on video, but I think I showed a lot of the other things that make Reggie Drago V Star still a threat in our current format. And I'm sure that if you're already playing Reggie Drago V Star, you probably still love the deck and are having a lot of fun. Maybe a couple of adjustments here and there can take your deck to the next level, including the likes of the Knocked Owl, which feels like a standard thing. And I've been seeing Cleffa a lot more as well in Reggie Drago. But what, what, do you, what do you like to put in your Reggie Drago V-Star list? I've noticed Gudra's not on here anymore. And there's a couple of other really solid dragon attackers that you could put into a Reggie Drago deck that just aren't here. James has really stripped it down to kind of the bare essentials. And I, I'm still kind of digging it. But for now, I got to get going. Thank you so much for watching. You can find me on all the things, YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at in third person. Uh oh, something crashed here. All right, we're just going to roll with it. It's fine. Uh, you can find me on Twitch at in third person where I stream the Pokemon trading card game every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern time and check out the website in thirdperson.com for more articles and videos on video games, board games, and other nerdy pursuits. So until the next one, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.